Hey everyone, this is Ross, and what you're looking at here is some sugarcane cuttings. These are really easy to root, really easy to grow, and actually, believe it or not, here in my zone 7A climate, two degrees Fahrenheit, low this year, right outside of Philadelphia, we're gonna be able to perennialize them here. We're gonna be able to harvest these year after year and have ourselves some really nice sugarcane juice, maybe even chew on the, uh, the canes themselves some point in the summer, definitely in the fall. I wanna show you guys how to plant these cuttings. It's very simple. We simply just take our hori hori, make ourselves a nice little hole here. I think this is a good length, good tool to use for this. We get our cutting. Hopefully you place this thing the right way. I don't even know which side is up. I think this is up. Let me know uh, down in the comments below, Brian, if uh, this is wrong. But we're gonna just bury this bottom node. See, there's two nodes, there's one there, and there's one up here. We'll, bottom the, we'll bury the bottom one here, stick that in the soil, cover that up, and what should happen is it'll form roots, definitely at the node, and then at each node, it'll form new leaves. And those leaves will grow new stems, um, and we'll have ourselves some sugarcane plants. They're very easy to root. I don't really know what the spacing is for these, but I'm just gonna put them in here in this little section to kind of get them uh, in a nice little location here. This is a pretty warm area of my yard, and this is kind of how I'm gonna get them to work here, is that um, all we have to do at the end of the year is that say they grow to six feet or whatever it is, we chop them back to maybe a foot, maybe six inches, and then we just cover that base with straw, mulch, leaves, anything we can get, and that's gonna help insulate that, it's not gonna rot, and it's really gonna act as a fig or a flower bulb, something that just gets killed back every year and is gonna re-sprout from that base and be able to fruit for us that year. So every year I should be able to get uh, sugar cane here. This variety, who knows, it may even be able to survive outdoors because this variety was bred by Louisiana State University and it was given to me by, by my buddy Brian, who actually went to school and studied sugarcane. Um, he wanted to have a sugarcane plantation and Brian tells me that this is a very hardy variety. So we'll see if it even needs protection. I think I may do that test as well. We may see just entirely what happens with these. I'm definitely gonna protect some of them. And it'll be really cool to have sugar cane growing here in Pennsylvania. And I know there's some naysayers out there that may think this is not going to work because you've never seen it done, but this has been done. Um, it's been done in colder places than I live. Um, really just protecting that base is going to be the key to your success. Um, I'm not entirely sure the variety plays too much of a part because I know that not many people have this variety and I know that they've been doing it in colder places than I live. So um, thought I'd share this with you guys. I'm definitely gonna give you guys updates as we go along in the season of how the sugar cane's doing. We'll certainly do a harvest, tell you guys what that tastes like. I'm really excited, personally. And then we'll also do a video talking about the winterization of this and then what this looks like uh, this time next year. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you guys like more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. Check out the new website, rossratty.wixsite.com slash blog. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for tomorrow's video, guys. Thanks, Brian. Let us know down in the comments if I place the cutting upside down or not. All right, take care, guys.